You ready? Are I'm you ready? ready? I'm ready. Right. I'm excited. Are you excited? Are you How excited ready? are you? On a scale of 1 to 10, like 500. 500? 500. Oh. You know what I gotta say? What do you gotta say? Roll that intro. Roll that intro. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here at a, a special studio place because uh, they invited us out. and we The are, Mindless Floor Podcast on the road. On the road. The road <laughs> tour. The post All Hell Breaks Loose tour. Yes. Where we get to get diving deep, get into the minds of scare actors. We'll be holy divers. It's holy divers. Dio, I like that. You're welcome. Um, we are here at the Fracture Compass Production Studio with Bree with Jackie and with Ruth. Hi. You may not know their faces, but you may, or actually you may know their, you may know all their faces because they've done a short movie. But if you don't, you may know their um, scare uh, monsters um, that roam ghost town streets and infected. Um, what? You guys want to go down the line, talk about your characters a little bit, who you guys play. I'll start with Ruth right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm the orphan in Ghost Town. Um, do you want me to go into like backstory? Or yeah, like, just a little bit of um, who your character is, she, why she is. <laughs> why she is. <laughs> how she is. How she is. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. Uh, she's a dead little girl. Uh, basically, I killed my parents in the town over and was escaping to Calico to start anew and was at the wrong place at the wrong time. This one killed me and buried me with all my toys. So when the curse <laughs> happened, <laughs> her, uh, she basically turned into the dolls that she would play with. Um, and she goes around trying to terrify everyone, trying to bring people to come play with her forever. Um, and you probably hear her giggle before you see her. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Like I'm at work now and everything, and I hear that giggle everywhere. It's like it's like I'm getting a little paranoid now. Like, she's like following me everywhere I go. You hear it first before you sleep. I haven't slept yeah. in uh, six weeks. I haven't slept in six weeks. Sleep schedule fell off. You try and sleep on the bench, but then we find you. Uh, Jackie, your um, I play the she wolf in Ghost Town, and my character um, essentially kind of took care of her a little bit when she was in town and then I got bit by a werewolf and during my first transformation I killed her and so that's why you see us running together a lot um yeah it's been it's been fun so far been fun, huh? yeah but you'll definitely see her before you see me because she's faster than I am <laughs> <laughs> and I'm usually trying to chase after her to find her and Bree your character um, so I play a squad leader inside Infected. Uh, my squad leader is very decorated um, and has a blind eye due to the fact that she was interrogated by Plague Energon Enterprises uh, that runs um, the weapons sales for Calico City to fight the zombie infected infection. Um, she was forced to watch her little brother get killed by zombies. She was forced to shoot her own spouse um, after she was bit. So I have no love for the recruits that come into Infected. Um, I literally stare at people sometimes and just wait for them to die. Um, and just looking for the zombie apocalypse to end so, so she dark. can get out. So dark. <laughs> we all think we have dark backstories. Of She's like, I just stand and wait for people to die. <laughs> she just wants you to. I'm just die. gonna. Um, the next time I go through that, I see I'm just gonna fall in front of you and just see what you do. And she's it's just gonna be like, okay. I'm pretty much going to just like six mm -hmm. zombies on you or step on you to step on you. <laughs> Uh, I would laugh if he stepped on him. Yeah. <laughs> all the all the all the fun stuff's been happening, and he'd get a kick out of that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've we've uh, we've been we've been going to knots a lot this season, like more than any other event. And yeah. So we're pretty well known to these characters. I mean, every time we go to special ops, pretty much I've seen you every time I've gone in. 
You may have not seen me, but I've seen you. I probably just stared at you. You probably yeah. have. The yeah, first time you did, because I was walking down the hallway. And <laughs> no, you I did just, see you that one time. Yeah, yeah, I was walking down the hallway, and she was just following me, and it was like... I was. <laughs> All right, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> I remember it just kept slamming my axe and going, and you kept looking at me going, really? 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 And I just kept going. <laughs> so, I've never only seen you once. And um, I regret it. I move around a lot inside the maze. Uh, cause I'm, a, I'm basically the quarterback for my area and the swing. Yeah. So I will bounce every about every 15, 20 minutes, I will bounce to a different spot. Um, so to see me actually see, see me is, is probably like, it's rare sometimes cause I'm just constantly moving. I think, I think you hit your axe and yeah. Oh yeah. I love my axe. And I made it. I love my axe. I probably axe. did jump. <laughs> um, I think I've seen you like, yeah, I'm like honestly a bunch of different areas. Like I've one time saw you when I came through the subway system and you were just standing on top of one of the, like the benches and just kind of like waiting for a scare. And I was like, man, I wish I could stay around and see that one happen. That would have been funny to see. Um, yeah, I've seen you everywhere. Even like under the tunnel before we duck, which mm -hmm. is so so bad for me, man. I hit my head like three times already. <laughs> I really thought I got a concussion one time. Hey, it's, it. <laughs> it's kind of a safety position for us to be there so people don't hit, but the problem is, is like when people hit their heads and they fall down on their backs, for some reason all I do is stare at them while they're like staring at the ground, like up at the ceiling. And I'm just like, get up. <laughs> I'm like, when I really should be going, are you okay? <laughs> Oh, we've had a lot of fun memories in that one this yeah. year, huh? There was a, there was one time we took his actually, what was it, your cousin? Yeah. And uh, she said something like stupid, like, oh, just had us dead. She's like, what happens if I point the gun at myself and kill myself? The guy looked at her, walked away, he went, that's a stupid question. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just dying, man. I was like, that was a pretty stupid yeah. question. But uh, yeah, we've had so much fun in that maze. That's one of the mazes that we probably hit almost every time we go. Um, or you can find us in another place. Yes. Sitting in a, in a on a bench <laughs> in Ghost Town <laughs> in Kmart. We call ourselves the Kmart bench warmers. We um, keep that bench warm. Yeah. Because we just sit there and we just chill. Um, now we've we've seen you guys pretty much all season. That's no question. We even go out of our way to find you guys if we if we if we want to. Yeah. And sometimes even Ruth has even gone on the way to like literally Every time that we were at that bench, I always see her like, look at us, see if we're there, <laughs> and then she'll go the other way. <laughs> uh, playing peekaboo. I'm playing peekaboo. Yeah, it's 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 funny. Um, so you guys, obviously, your your characters are uh, are intertwined together. How has that been, uh, scare wise, to set each other up for different scares? Oh. How would you describe that? <coughs> I use you more as a. Distraction. Yeah, I think I'm more yeah. of a distraction, and then she'll come out of nowhere yeah. and nail someone, or she'll throw her rabbit, and yeah. then I'll go and pounce on it and, and try to get a scare with that. But yes, <laughs> <laughs> no. trying to be like, Would oh, you? we're not going to scare you, but yeah, we're. Which yeah. you've been the victim of. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry either. Yeah, no, no, or no, me just sorry. jumping over her back like leapfrog. Yeah, we've I've seen you do some we've insane played, shit this season. <laughs> Especially little. Insane <laughs> shit. <laughs> There's some stuff where I'm like, I shouldn't probably done that. I'm, I'm, waiting you, I'm waiting for you to jump off a building. That's really what I'm waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> Every day we're like at knots and freaking we're, like, we're she's gonna come off the, go. she's gonna come off the candy shop and just Batman across all the buildings. <laughs> it's gonna be insane. And, and I'm gonna put it past you. It's um, gonna happen. One you're gonna day. fall in a hole. <laughs> <laughs> come out of the ground next time. Okay, let, let's let's just recap the stuff we've seen her do. Because there's a lot, there's, there's a pretty listy, lengthy list of <laughs> the stuff we've seen her do firsthand. She's climbed up a statue to get into a bush and then jumped out of that bush, which I thought was like, okay, that was that was something. Yeah. Because like I couldn't even do that. Because you know, so that was that was pretty cool. The planner use. The plan. <laughs> He's so we do the planner. Planners. Yeah. Um, of the planner. What was, what was the funniest thing that she's done is we actually showed up uh, at Rope Drop. We were making her all the way back to Special Ops, and we actually ran into her, and I yelled out like "Orphan, you're the real one" or something like that, and she yelled out "Friends," and then someone <laughs> came out of nowhere and tried to say the same thing, 
And that's when she went straight from like little girl to like exorcist, like not friends. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I, I, I just remember walking away from that, dying, um, and that was like the thing all night. Um, that, yeah, that was, that was hilarious. There, there's just been so many great moments with everyone. Um, your character is new to Ghost Town this year, right? I am new to Ghost Town. Yeah. How, how's it been? really fun is it yeah it's yeah. so much fun you're having a lot of fun out there yeah you look like you're having a lot of fun out yeah there. it's incredible we, we we uh yeah we've seen your character development every week get like more and more uh, like you do something that adds on to the character and it just improves it more and more from when you started um and we've enjoyed watching it it's like every week after week it's something new um and I think what works between you and Ruth is, um, like you said, it's one of those things where you're the distraction and then she uh, comes in for the scare. I think that's just, it's, it's something that's like, it's terrifying because like, you could be sitting in the middle eyeing somebody and she just comes out for a slide, which I've seen multiple times happen. Uh -huh. And um, the thing with the, the rabbit, she throws it at someone, you go for it. We saw that with him. We actually yeah. had, we have footage of that <laughs> happening. Yes. Um, I was in the corner. Yeah. And it's 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 a terrifying thing, especially with the growl and everything. Yeah. Wait, how do you do that sniff? Because I am so the scared. The sniff or the growl? Both. Both. I don't know. I don't know. Once it's once, pure adrenaline. Once yeah. like the paws in the face go on, I don't know how I do it. Because I, if you ask me to do it right now, I probably couldn't do it. It's a different person that takes over. And I think the way that the mask sits on my face, it probably helps. Like echo. Yeah, because I was like, dang, that's a really loud sniff. <laughs> I'm also the like... The nose moves and everything. I really... And then I'll move my head like that so that it looks like the nose yeah. is moving. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's fun. It's, I, I, like I said, this has probably been my favorite event this year, hands down. And it's yeah. due to the everyone who interacts with us. It's just, it's been so much fun. There's something we have to talk about, though, because it had me dead. And I think she knows where I'm going with this. Because you were the one that did it. What? Oh, God. <laughs> what did I do? And she doesn't know where I'm going with this. I already know where you're going with this. He knows where I'm going with this. Was it when you were sleeping? Yes. Oh. <laughs> do you want to say the story? It's, it happened. I mean, yeah. I don't know, but I, I wasn't there for about three quarters of it, I'm sure. <laughs> I was there for the ending. Oh, yeah, you know where I was. <laughs> anyway, um, Sammy has this thing, guys, where. Lately, when if we go like on a Friday or a Thursday, even on the weekends, I don't even know why you just sleep in on the weekends. He does this thing where um, he'll just start dozing off about midnight. About midnight, no matter what he drinks, caffeine wise, he just starts dozing off every time. And it's one of those things where I look over at him, and if I know a scare actor. I try to get their attention because, like, God, I want to. I want to see him get scared. That's what I sign up for. I got extremely lucky one time because <laughs> he was falling asleep, and Jackie just made it. Like she was coming out of the fog, and we almost had one one time, but then I got up and it messed everything up. But then Jackie was right there. She came out of the fog, and I was like signaling her. I'm like, you got to hurry up, get over here. Next thing you know, she's in front of Sammy, just bah, and then he just wakes up, <laughs> gets scared. It had me dying. It had me dead too. It had me freaking. That's what I deserve. I think I was laughing too afterwards. Yeah. It was really funny. I looked over at her. Sorry. I'm like, come on, even she's laughing at that one. Dude. How can you not laugh at that one? I think the second one happened this past weekend with you. Yeah. <laughs> And you were just sitting there, and I, I had your attention elsewhere. Yeah, I was totally in conversation with you. And she came up and giggled, and they had me dead on the floor. They had me dead on the floor. The um, look on your face was so funny. It just had me dead on the floor. So we actually took, uh, we actually had a bunch of fans uh, submit questions as well. And they just, they kind of want to know a little bit of insight of what you guys do. Um, this one we comes. Scare people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my job. Uh, scare. My job. Scared. The it's end. a monsters in bottom. We yeah. scare because we, we care. Scare because we care. Yeah. Um, 
So this one comes from uh, Parco.Gonzo, and he says, What does it take to become a slider at not scary form or within decayed brigade? That's my. <laughs> that's a hard question. Um, <laughs> just you have to have a lot of. Um, why can't I talk right now? Um, you just have to know the skill and be very confident in what you're doing. Because if you're not confident, you're going to hit somebody. Um, and we don't want that. Um, your pads would be pulled immediately. But, um, and also sliding in character um, versus. I know there's some monsters out there that just slide to scare but it takes a lot to like a lot of balance and coordination to like slide in a character because if you've seen the video that's up I do a spin and like sw sw twirl my dress to like scare people because it throws them off um, but it's just a lot of like cardio lots of cardio and just willing to throw yourself on the ground. Rule number one is zombie land cardio. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of cardio. A lot of cardio. Yeah. yeah. But do you you even, even do a certificate, mm -hmm. not a, kind of like a certification. Like you have to pass a test before you can even slide on Ghost Town or any street zone. Um, and that test is done by the higher ups, and you have to pass everyone, or you're not gonna go out there. And you also have to be on streets for a year before you can slide. Sounds huh. good. Yeah, because even you said like the other day, like you have a hard time not screaming when you slide because you're so in character that it's, it's difficult for you to to not do that. Yeah, because you've been losing your voice and it's been. That's funny. Saying, it's been funny. <laughs> it was funny because she came up to us, I think at one point in the night, she was in full-blown character in the beginning, and then she came up and she's like, hey! And I was like, oh my god, the orphan just hit hair. And she just hit puberty. Oh my god. Um, she wasn't seven anymore. She wasn't seven anymore. The demon's just going like yeah. this now. I think the end of the season, you can all tell our voices are different. Yeah. Like, oh, we're all hoarse and tired. Yeah. And, yeah. My sleep schedule's been different, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, yeah. I've been getting home at like 1 in the morning, on 1.30 on a Sunday, and I had to wake up at 5.30 for work, so. Beautiful three and a half hours of sleep. Love it. <laughs> so worth it. Um, Tim Gulmeyer asked, if you guys had a choice to be a character at another event for one night, which would it be? Uh, I honestly um, would probably go to Dark Harbor. They have a lot of fun there. They fun. have a lot of fun. Um, they, they're very, very free in what they can do um, and how they interact. So if I had to go to another event, that would be mm. the event that I would choose to go to. Because I kind of the sky's the limit over there. Yeah. With, you know, within, within reason, but... I saw some weird shit there, too. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw some really weird shit. I think one of them's in the compilation that we put up. It was just guy taking out his lollipop and giving it to the girl. And, and they switched it, right? Yeah. Uh, the exchange. <laughs> yeah. I was like, nice. <laughs> nice. Uh, Dark Harbor or Reign of Terror? Nice. Yeah. You guys are hitting that pretty soon, aren't you? Tomorrow. 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 Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, for tomorrow. All right. Ruth, what about you? I've done Dark Harbor already. Oh, I nice. came, went over and played, and it is very fun. Um, since I've done that already, I would definitely choose Horror Nights. Ruth with a chainsaw. I would oh. really want to do the chainsaw. You thought really the, the, the orphan was terrifying. The orphan was terrifying. With a chainsaw. <laughs> Ruth's gonna come out with a chainsaw. It's even worse, man. You guys are all, all your screwed. nightmares. All your nightmares are coming to life right there. That would make me run. That's that's uh, <laughs> fun. Yeah. What about? Let's see. This is a fun one because I I've, I've I've been kind of thinking about this all season too. Uh, do any of you guys track your calories? And see how much you guys burn a night. I don't track calories. I track more of my steps oh, okay. throughout the night. It's a lot. It's a lot. I yeah. think the highest we've gone up to is like 23,000 steps. steps. Well, how do you track your steps? Though? I wear my watch underneath. Ah, yeah, smart. It just doesn't turn out. You can't see it because I wear two layers yeah. of clothing. So Smart. Yeah, you can't see it. So it does track everything from the calories, to, but I don't ever look. I just track the steps because I get like But what does that equate to? Like, what has been our, our record? I think 23. No, 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 like, like miles. What does that translate to? I don't know. Like 13, 14 miles? Mm, Something about right. Like a marathon. 
Yeah. I think it's like 2,500 like steps. Especially on. It's a mile, maybe. On, yeah. yeah, it was Saturday. Last Saturday, I felt like we were booking it all night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, Saturday was nuts. Yeah. You had to keep moving. You, yeah. You have yeah. to keep moving. It, like, called quits on Kmart at one point. Yeah. Because it was just getting too much. Yeah. And we were just sitting there, and all of a sudden, everybody left, and we're like, ooh. <laughs> I was like, we got in trouble. <laughs> we all got moved. We just, um, just, we just got moved. Yeah. yeah. Just, to be safe. just to be safe. I figured, because they even shut off the fog for a long time. <laughs> like, there was like a couple, like an hour or two when the fog was just off, and I was like, are they closed already? Am I, <laughs> is my clock wrong? Is my clock wrong? Are they closed? Um, all right. Most memorable moment from each of you this season. Ruth already's got, she's got like five in her head, probably. <laughs> There's a couple. There's a couple. Go. No, you go. I don't know first. No. You go first. Um, most memorable moment this year. It's also like most funniest moment this season. Uh, I do a bit where we have a downed helicopter. Our helicopter pilot's name is Maverick, and I always I'm all like, hey, if we just blow up the hospital, then no more zombies will come out of it. And I take my axe and I just hit the end of the the missile turret and I'd see if like they, one would take off it's so stupid it's just really for my own amusement because <laughs> because nobody really notices what I'm doing half the time um well now I want to see that but I would I went to the back and I was working with um in fact another ghost town monster that was guest appearing as a squad leader that night Vincent and this is the piggy he's no. the no. bowler hat guy bowler hat bowler guy. Bowler guy. yeah um, so I'm hitting it and he's like, what are you doing? And I'm all like, I'm trying to pull up the hospital. What does it look like I'm doing? And he goes, oh, I'm going to ride it like Fortnite. <laughs> so he, he like straddles the turret and I hit it and it just drops <laughs> like right like on the ground. And the thing is, is that when you're inside of an, of like an, a maze or, or a, a, kind of hybrid maze like ours you don't really want to break the props because you can actually get in a lot of trouble for doing so but so when that whole turret and by the way it's like gigantic fell off onto the ground I lost it and I actually had to run into our telephone booth by the hospital and I was just leaning down like this just crying <laughs> I was crying so hard, like guests were looking at, like just like passing by and the zombies are just doing their thing around me. I couldn't do anything. I was just dying. I'm just like, keep going. Keep going. Um, <laughs> and so they're going through and then uh, our manager walks through and Vincent picks it up and goes, look, I could just carry it like an RPG like this and we ended up taking it up to where everybody gets briefed for like a split second and then coming back out and I was, and I was just like oh my god are we in trouble and the fact that it was actually Vincent and, and me and we had no intention of breaking it at all we, we were okay um but they're like screw it it's the last year anyway might as well go with the bang right uh, still <laughs> <laughs> Because we do recycle a lot of the props, yeah. if you notice. So, like, some of the things that have gotten broken this year, some people have gotten, like, in really big trouble. But, like, yeah, they were cool with the turret. And then I was going to use it the other day to take it out into the middle of Alpha Streets and, like, act like I was going to, like, aim it down the street. And I could, like, kind of tug on it. And they have totally, like, screwed it down to the ground. So, <laughs> if, you, if you come back into... Mate, the into infected, and you see by the helicopter the missile turret is now down on the ground. That is why. <laughs> just gonna walk through that maze and look at it and just laugh. And yeah. Because <laughs> we tried to ride it like Fortnite. Yes. <laughs> Much respect to that. This is why you and Vincent can't be together. We cannot be together <laughs> at all. Trying to ride it like Fortnite. That's hilarious. That's fantastic. Most memorable moment. Um, I think something you did mm -hmm. last Saturday. Mm -hmm. All you did was just slide out. It was such an easy scare, but you made twenty people like 
Bowling that pin. one. <laughs> Bowling pin on the floor. And then, was on and then they, yeah, it was on Saturday, and then they just scattered like cockroaches. <laughs> and I see half the group go down where like the teepees are, and the other half of the group go down where the hotel is. And then there was just this confusing mix up because they didn't know which way to run. Yeah. And she's still standing there just like. <laughs> well, standing there just like, the rope fell at the end because her friend swung her down. As just I like that. Like, <laughs> we swung her on the floor and I went over and I was just skipping to go ask if she was okay and then she took off. Bye. <laughs> I think you're okay. That was pretty funny. Um, I made a girl throw her beer right out of the saloon. That's hilarious. Like, like, yeet it. <laughs> it was gone. Um, we played Chase the other day, which I thought was really funny. Chase was, Chase was really fun. Because as I was chasing her and she was hiding, someone was like, you leave her alone. <laughs> no, no, to go off that, it's funny seeing people's reactions because I came around the corner and it actually slipped. And I was trying to turn, but I had my knee pads on, so I like made it look like when you were when, like in movies when they're running around a corner real fast, and they're like trying to get away, but they can't. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get traction. That's what I was doing, and the person sitting here was like, "I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do." <laughs> that um, playing 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 pounce with the rabbits fun, um, and then whenever I howl around Alicia. And she tells me to shut up. It's hilarious. Oh my god, it's so funny. Or I'll go up to the schoolhouse and like rub up against I think it was it. I think it was Sunday. You, you took a page from her book, and she was asking for it back. And then I wouldn't give it back to her. Yeah, and then like she she then you started crying, and she's like, "Stop crying!" Yeah, I actually she's helped dying. the other day, and she came up and grabbed my snap. I saw she that. It like that. I, I saw that. And I was laughing so hard. I was like, <laughs> "What is going on?" Um. One one favorite moment I actually have from you, Ruth, was uh, when you when you chased that girl into the candy store. And she <laughs> I just gave her a look. And she, <laughs> she wouldn't come out. Like She's like, "Can I get a picture?" Oh hell no! And she ran back into the candy store, <laughs> and she was there for like a good like I'm not even lying, thirty to forty five minutes. She would just not. You weren't even guarding. The I wasn't we guarding. Were just no, playing on we were candy playing. Candy. Yeah, she and would she would leave. just not leave. And then one finally, her friend booked it to the saloon. And the other one just stayed back because she didn't want to go. I'm like, didn't she book it to the saloon? She too? eventually and then she, booked like, it. Eventually came back and she's like, no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but I think and I think it was back. just her reaction that just. We don't even guard yeah. doors, and people will not come out. I know it's hilarious. <laughs> That's funny. Good for my, <laughs> my memorable moment was Candyman. <laughs> Oh my god. I scared a group. I was oh, no. in bird in front of bird cage and I was inside because I all like duck into groups if you've seen and then I'll come out and I was by the cart over by schoolhouse and I popped out and all I hear is ching 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 but it started to get faster and I look up, deer in headlights, candy man's riding his cane like a horse <laughs> towards me. And so I tried to like get out of the way, but he was trying to get out of the way too. So we didn't collide, but he hit me right in the thigh with his cane. It was so it hurt so bad, but it was it was the so funniest funny. thing ever. And I was That's like, hilarious. oh my god! I even made a meme out of it. That uh, <laughs> I sent you yesterday. Made a meme out of it? Yeah, well, it did. She got some scary far memes up in here. Uh, <laughs> another memorable moment was playing with, I like playing with Thrash, like when Thrash is my running partner as well, because he's so big. Yeah. Uh, uh, Bo is his uh, bovine. bovine, the big bull out there. Um, he took my rabbit and he put it on his pitchfork and we were scaring like that like I was trying to get it from him. <laughs> it was really, it, really yeah, adorable. It, it's cute. I can't see it, but Didn't I was you, like, like looking at back his back last weekend. Yeah. That was like, piggyback. I was like, I've seen it all now. I just, yeah. I really have. It's, it's, it's like Big Daddy, like uh, Big Daddy and Little, Little, little Sister. sister? From Bioshock, yeah. 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 It's a fun game. <laughs> Um, there's a lot of them. There's a lot. There's so yeah. many. I there's know. There's so this. many. That's why we wanted to hear all of them, if we could. But there's yeah. just so many. Uh, what is the most important part of a quality scare, ask Eddie? A quality scare? I don't know. I don't know what if there's such that? things as a quality scare. Like you scare someone, you get them. <laughs> so, honestly, some of our best scares have just been standing in the right place at the right time. Someone yeah. turns around. Boom. My favorite scares are not the startled scares. It's the like creep you out to the point you don't want to be in that position anymore. Because I've had people like try and square up, and they're like, "Oh, never mind," because I'm like getting closer and closer to them, and they're like, 
I'm good. I'm good. Please stop, nah, I'm please. Good. And then I'll giggle, and they're like, I'm gonna go now. I think you did a giggle to me on, what was it, I think Sunday or something. You were like behind me, or Saturday, and it just brought chills to my spine. I like had to walk away for a second, like, okay, that's not, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> Those are my favorite Oh, scares. God. I do um, like when people fall, but I don't like them getting hurt. Yeah, people falling is mm -hmm. funny as long as they don't get hurt. But I think even yeah. when you're creeping someone out, and I'm standing right behind them, and they turn around, and then they book it. Those are fun. Ping pong scares are fun. What about maze wise? What do you think is the best like way to get someone? Um, in a maze, uh, it's a little bit different because you do have basically what we call blue holes. Mm -hmm. So you're completely hidden at some points. Um, it's just it really is just kind of watching the groups as they go through and kind of picking a target of who you think is gonna get you're gonna get the best scare out of um, and just that element of surprise of just coming out uh, you can even do it when, when I was standing up on the you said I was standing up on the bench yeah. basically in the in the subway I mean that's standing in plain sight but I was standing as still as possible and yeah. not really moving and then all of a sudden I would just drop down and like usually that's where we get most of our drop scares is because you come from above down down to them and they just drop down they just buckle because you're coming at them and so they're just like I'm gonna go I'm gonna go, <laughs> I'm, gonna go to the floor. <laughs> I'm safe down here no you're not yeah drop down scare me that's an easy way to get me yeah. Yeah. Drop down scare. Yeah. Um, yeah anything from a different height that's not here yeah and I'm to me is like, I'm I, did, so I did some small. matrix in the halls the other day <laughs> It was, uh, uh, one of the scarecrows was standing on, on one of the, the things, and I saw him, and I knew he was going to do something, but still there was a reaction, and he does, he did something, and I like freaking Keanu Reeves did, and just like went back, and one of the guys was like, hey, nice Matrix impression, and I'm like, hey, you know. He's our favorite janitor. Oh, yeah, so there's this, uh, yeah, there's a, we should talk about that, there's this janitor, or one of the park services people there, who we call the scare actor in Crane. <laughs> Because they'll walk through the fog. they'll walk through the fog with like the scariest face on possible, like he's gonna scare somebody. <laughs> and then we heard him talk, and he puts on a voice when he talks. So I'm like, oh my god, scare actor in training right there, man. They told him he couldn't work streets this year. They had that he had to shadow people. That's our theory to that. <laughs> I've never seen. Him. I don't think I've ever seen. Him. He's, he's like he's like a tall. He's about probably like my my height, and we saw him in Hollows. What was it Sunday? Yeah. I, don't know, I feel what like I try to avoid people with the carts. I just try to get out of their way. He doesn't have. He has just the broom. Oh yeah. really? Broom. <laughs> and he does like a walk and everything when he's walking. Like I think we saw him in Kmart one night. And he was just like. He's got a monster walk. He's ready. He's got a monster walk with him. It was like he's so dudes, man. He's got a freaking <laughs> costume in the bag, ready to go. He's, he's already just, ready. You should just audition. I know. So I was like, dude, you already got the freaking walk and the stare down. I was like, just get you some makeup and costume, and boom, you're good to go. Um, all right. Uh, my mom asked, do you know when to stop getting in people's faces? Do you know when to stop? Yeah. 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 You can usually tell before you even go in. I think the only so reason she asked that is because she's terrified to go to any of these events. <laughs> yeah. She'd be an easy one, I can tell you that right now. Yeah, I'm, very, I'm very forgiving to a, a point. <laughs> like, if they're really, like, done, done, like, you could tell yeah. Yeah. they're done. And you're just like, okay. And you also don't want to just waste your time just on one person. Because yeah. there's a whole rest of the, the park that needs to get scared that hasn't seen you or, like... Anything like that. Yeah. yeah. Jinx the Fool asked, not a question, but I love you, Orphan. <laughs> I love you too, Jinx. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious when I saw that last night. I was like, alright, that's going to be one we're going to say. Uh, uh, I have a question. So, uh, how do you all get into character? Like, what does that like look like? Is it like, what's the process like to get into character? In terms of like, preparation, oh, music, yeah. okay. sitting in silence. So I know there's like a few people that listen to music. For me, I literally, once I start, we'll, we do a thing before Rope Drop with our cast lead, Denise, where we'll do stretches and everything, and that gets me ready. And then once I see the fog and then the I can hear the, the audio for the 
the rope drop happening, it kind of just, I'm in it. Like, I'm already, like, walking down and hearing people cheer um, during rope drop, I just start getting into the character more and more as I'm walking down. What about you? Do you have any things um, you'd like to get into? Honestly, like, our little, like, dance parties that we have. Before, when back. we're getting ready, are super fun, and they get me, like, pumped up for it, but for me, the second my paws go on, it's, done. it's not Jackie anymore. It's game over. Yeah. What about you, Brie? You listen to any music or um, something special? Not so much music. Uh, basically, like, as I put on my, my rig, I'll put my contact in. Um, it'll be, like, the last thing I do, and then basically, as soon as I put on the black if you'll notice only half of my face where the eye is done so that's kind of like my bad side that's kind of taking over my good side so i won't have anything on this side yeah and i'll have that side and i'll just go sit in the maze as soon as they turn the audio on you just have that hard hitting metal sound um yeah. i'll literally just sit in the maze with my axe and just spin it and just kind of stare down at the ground everybody kind of knows like don't talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Just point. getting into character yeah. right there. I think for us, when we go to the events, it's always like, we always play like Slayer or something before we show up on. Yeah. It's always like Slayer, Misfits. <laughs> Lately, it's been Slayer, Misfits. Um, Brohem. Brohem. By Pennywise. Pennywise. Pantera. Yeah, it's just been... Or if I'm working on a compilation, I just like to listen to the song that way. I know what to do what. That's why I did. And that's why all my friends are dead. Um... I would listen to that at work day in, day out, just to figure out where I'm gonna do stuff. And, and yeah, but it's, it's been fun. Um, all right, so, what was or still is the most exhausting and grueling part about being a Working a normal job? <laughs> oh, that's a Having a full-time job on top of. I bet. This. Just, just freaking going to the events and having to go to a full-time job after is, is rough. We can only like, imagine how you all. Only imagine how you guys feel. Yeah. I mean, like we're we're getting home at sometimes four o'clock in the morning, and you have to be at work at seven. Yeah. You work early. I'm fortunate enough to be able to work from home, so it's a little bit easier for me. But these two get screwed over. Yeah. Dead. An hour and a half of sleep, like for forty eight hours, is it's a little rough. Oh, yeah. yeah. But helps your character. It does. <laughs> I really don't care now. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. <laughs> get in, get out. <laughs> Run in as fast as you can. I don't want to see you. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much the name of the game is get in, get out for, for infected. I mean, we don't try to rush people, but we don't like people that just kind of walk through and, and sit still inside mazes because it's very dangerous inside yeah. infected. Um, especially since we have now it's the only maze in any event at this point um where you're not the victim anymore you're always a victim yeah. inside mazes you're not the victim now you're the aggressor and we've given you that gun and so we don't like people lingering too long because they just get a little too close to our, our scare actors than we than we like and if you've ever been popped by one of those guns um even a nudge hurts they hurt it hurts bad i'm gonna be honest with you when i go into that maze i'm a different person i'm not anthony no more i'm john wick yeah <laughs> <laughs> from when i hold my gun and everything i just like do it to the side and everything you get this weekend all of a sudden just something snaps inside people and we've had people just go nuts and we've had to like i think it was the last time we went through it, it there was like a group in front of us that were just taking forever it was very frustrating for me mm -hmm. Cause like you're going too That's slow. That's when you turn around and keep shooting. That's what I was doing. I was like, I was just like <laughs> getting so frustrated. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna take advantage of this moment right now and just start shooting other things that I don't get to shoot very often. Okay. Yeah. I think the other hard part is being sick. Being sick. If you're yeah. sick, it. Mm -hmm. We've we've. Did you catch it very bad this year? Not um, super bad, right? <laughs> not super bad. I got the cough that everybody. Got yeah, everyone's got a cough, but you got it pretty bad. We I got it the haunt plague. Haunt plague. Yeah. yeah. The haunt it, plague. It, 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 it sucks. It sucks. It yeah. sucks. Especially if you're wearing a mask and you gotta blow your nose. Cause you or you have a snot rocket come out of your nose when you go in for yeah. a growl. And then you have to run off. I think it was one time <laughs> where really disgusting. It's 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 gross. Like 
it can get really nasty. I think because, like, for me, like, every freaking weekend, I don't know why my stomach is always just killing me. <laughs> uh, was it hard for you when you first started scare acting? You've done it the longest. <laughs> it, um, it was difficult. I first, well, when I first started scare acting, I was in Virus Z back in, like, 2012. And I had Nazis, like, masks and stuff. But it was different. And now, like, it's developed since then. Like, I've gotten better at it. And then getting on Ghost Town and developing a character, that's a lot different. Like, you don't just, not a lot of people could just jump in to Ghost Town and have a character, or in the zone, in that matter, and just have their character, like, on point, like, know what they want to do. It always takes, like, trial and error. Um, and just trying stuff and doesn't work. Try something new and like hearing feedback from people definitely helps too. How was it the transition from Maze to Scare Zone? Fun. Yeah? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I, honestly, like being a squad leader is probably one of the toughest jobs in the park because you are you're a blackout, you're a security guard, and you're also trying to push people through. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like, being a squad leader is difficult, um, and there's not a lot of opportunities to be able to scare because your your zombies are doing that for mm -hmm. you, and you're trying to escort people, and you're trying to make sure that everyone's staying safe, and that there's not guns flying around, and that you're keeping yourself safe and your, your cast safe, so it has been a breath of fresh air to be out on the ghost hand, and I, I feel like the transition was very intimidating, but it's been a lot of fun. Definitely. Bree, what's next for you after Maze? Um, this year. This is the know. last year of Final Letter Special Ops, which we are all very this, sad about. This is the final year of Special Ops. Um, she's right with being a squad leader. Um, there wasn't a lot of, and it depends on where you are. Uh, there's not a lot of opportunity to scare. This year, I've been lucky enough to have been like, screw it, I'm scaring. Um, and our managers have been like, scare as much as you can. So in that squad leader role, I have scared people probably every single time um just to be where i was but we have and we've been doing a lot of there's a lot of shenanigans inside infected this year um but in character in character um but i don't know i i i do know what i want to do i just don't really want to say mm. right now no, um, because it. i don't respect it i don't want to put <laughs> something out there that could change um and i don't want it but we like secrets we yeah like to, we, like to, we like the anticipation yeah someone show up to the event next year like oh shit look at her there, there, look at that <laughs> there are some things i've been working on um there's also been things that i've been working out with uh the channel mm -hmm. because that's also in the forefront of of what we do yeah. so um <clears throat> Mike has really, really done a good job, and I did a lot with the channel this this kind of Halloween. Um, but I'm trying to kind of roll out some new Halloween stuff that we can kind of touch on for next year that has to do with being a haunt character uh, without dredging too much into like upsetting Knots territory. Mm -hmm. So. Because um, that's yeah, because that's <laughs> we have to be we have to be super sensitive about about what we do because we work there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys will just have to wait and see. I like that. I like what that anticipation. I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> I mean, I waited a year for Avengers Endgame, so you know. I mean, obviously, <laughs> the Orphan will be coming back. Um, yeah. And yeah, you come back. Hopefully, 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 maybe, maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> keep your character. Um, maybe she dies on Saturday. I don't know. We don't know. And uh, <laughs> she's been doing an amazing <laughs> job <laughs> as the she wolf on Ghost Town. Um, so we might evolve that character. We might stay, we'll but we'll see. We'll but, see yeah, I guess my future is undetermined. Undetermined. <laughs> I like that. Another question, speaking of evolving, how has your character evolved? So obviously you've been doing the Orphan a little while, yeah. She-Wolf a little new, Squad Leader been doing that. How, how have they been evolving? In the beginning I only knew that I wanted to be a doll character. 
at first and the mask looked horrible. I got made, I didn't like it very much and it's kind of just gone from there. Um, and she's just evolved from having like a, like she used to just be a really aggressive like cowgirl to now she has a dress on and now she's playing and giggling because I found out I could giggle last year and started just playing more and making it more innocent slash aggressive. Creepy. Creepy. Especially really when creepy. she goes in she goes in for that hug movement and then like that's a no no. <laughs> Everyone's like no no no. I've seen one too many horror movies where uh yeah, that doesn't end well. <laughs> what about you? I think you've been involved in this season. Um because we've seen it. Honestly, Trust like it it's it seems like it was a long time ago, but it hasn't been. Mm -hmm. And it's almost hard to even say because, like, I feel like the second I get out there... Jackie's gone. It's, yeah. She's kind of gone. And so, I mean, I feel like I've done better and progressed and everything, but honestly, having some type of backstory to work off of and then having someone really good to run with mm -hmm. helps a lot. Definitely. It helps a lot because then you can sit there and watch and be like, hey, that works for them. That no. works for them. <laughs> and then you watch other people do their thing. And you're like, let me let me see if I can make that something that I can do in my own character. Mm -hmm. Definitely watching others. It like, helps immensely. Like we'll run with other other um, characters out there and it's best to like watch how they scare. And you're like, oh, like put your spin on it or like try what they do mm -hmm. kind of thing. Okay. Hi, Salem. Hi, Salem. <laughs> but I also think it helps to, because you and I kind of scare differently. Like you're able to slide and everything and you can have that aggressive scare. Yeah. But your character's very playful and very fun and like wants to be friends with people. And then you can like throw these epic tantrums in the middle of it. <laughs> and my character is a good distraction, but also more aggressive when I leave in and out of people. So I think that opposite helps. Definitely. How do you think your character's evolved since you've been in Special Ops Um, 2017, if you looked at my character, it was very clean cut, like, basically, like, hey, I'm not a boot camp. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go save some guys. Let's go kill zombies. Um, and now, since the corruption has taken place inside of Infected and everything, um, for me, at least, and I've lost people, <laughs> Um, I do have that, that basically, I almost want to say like the darkness taking over me. Um, and I have a lot of Easter eggs on top, on my, on my costume. Like, I know, like Ruth has Easter eggs on hers that, that fits oh, yeah. with, with, she, with the She-Wolf. The She-Wolf has oh, Easter eggs on her costume. Mm -hmm. And you can't really tell, like, if you really look at the costume, you're like, what is that? And it's basically like to help us of all of our characters. Like, for me, I have her, um, dog tags. On they're, my, they're my actual dog they're, tags. which are her actual dog they're tags actual from dog the tags. from the navy. But I have her dog tags because I technically had to shoot her and kill her. So I took her dog tags. Those hang on my on my vest. I also have, um, if you notice on my axe, there is a piece of cloth that was from my brother. That was actually a zombie my first year that I accidentally tore a piece of his uh, clothing off, and I we kept it because we were <laughs> playing with it. So that's actually tied. That's actually from 2017 that I've gone. Um, and my character's a little bit more twisted. I actually, if you guys see it, I actually have it in my pocket right now. Because it's in the Ew, jeans. Ew, do you really? I, well, yeah. Ew, that's nasty, dude. <laughs> now I, I know see what it. it is, but... Now uh, I want to see it. You want to see it? Yeah, I want to so see it. So it's basically like a severed finger <laughs> nah, that I nice. carry around with me. And that, like, basically... She's gross, too. <laughs> um, She's so gross. Like, if somebody's like, you know, like, what do we do? Or whatever, I'll be like, I'll be like... You see this? I'd be like, this is all that's left of the last group. I'm like, oh. guys, I'm like, you guys need to do better than this, you know? Like, and I'll talk, and so she's collected stuff along the way, um, and has become like a very, very dark character. And I literally have like taken pieces of costume and like tied it onto the dog tags, just as like I've killed people or like trophies. Trophies, nice. basically. Like They're basically that. trophies. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so awesome. cool. <laughs> that's awesome. All right. Uh, this is the last question from our Instagram questions. Um, let's see. How do you get in the headspace of your character, and what are your character's goals every night? I'm pretty sure they vary every night differently. I don't know. Unless you have the same ones. I think it depends on the crowd. Yeah. Well, 
It just varies. Like, there'll be some times where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna make a friend today. <laughs> <laughs> or like... I'm gonna go out and make a friend and then immediately turn into the exorcist. Yeah. <laughs> or like, I'll have a goal of like, I'm going to be more playful and get a scare out of like playing hopscotch or... Um, I had a goal. I forgot what my goal was. You well, almost got Billy and Lucy to play hopscotch. Yeah. You were close. Um, <laughs> goals like making someone spill beer or <laughs> fall <laughs> down. Sometimes our cats will, will, give us, will give us a goal. Yeah. Like, hey, try to or, like, or set yourself a goal for the night. So That's what's kind of fun. Scaring with someone different. Um, there's many different, like, goals that I've gone through this year. Yeah. Different, uh, yeah, I mean, I've, we've seen a lot, definitely. <laughs> One of the goals was trying not to scream, but I can't not, <laughs> not scream. <laughs> Imagine even if it sounds like, <laughs> don't scream. A silent orphan, just, oh my god, that'd be even creepier. A silent orphan. <laughs> just a lot. Just looking at just, you. Just the bunny and the cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> Always more cowbell. <laughs> Always more cowbell. <laughs> Uh, what about you, Jackie? You got any goals every night you want to try to accomplish? Um, it uh, it depends on the crowd for me. You know, if the crowd seems like they're very reactive or they're up for kind of playing around a little bit, I'll I'll try. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten some good reactions, like especially with kids. Like you go in, you kind of stop a kid, and they're all sit, and I'll sit. Oh. But then if an adult tries to tell me to do it, I won't. <laughs> More like the entertaining. Yeah, like I think I actually saw you one night. Yeah, inter yeah like inter like uh, interact with a little kid. Yeah, like in the middle of uh, Kmart. Uh, I oh that, yeah, I yeah, thought yeah. that was really cool. Yeah, she was cute. Yeah. She was fun to play with, and then a kind of like a little crowd like kind of started to form. So I chased them away and then came back to her. She was adorable. I really liked her. I like when kids aren't afraid. Yeah, because it makes it really funny when the adults. Whoever the parents are, they're raising them well. <laughs> I'm gonna raise my kid like that, man. I'm freaking showing me shit. I'm gonna... Never mind, I shouldn't be a parent. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brie, what's your? you have goals that you like to try to accomplish every night? Um, usually I try to come up with a new shenanigan every night um, to break my managers and think, or like make people laugh. Like just because it's it's so serious inside Infected and we've got like machine guns going off around us and everything like that and there's a... There's it's a war zone. A, it is a basically a war zone. If you actually stand there, like, for a little bit, you can actually get really affected by it. Like, because, I mean, just in today's world, mm -hmm. like, this, and we're, we're staring at city streets, so it's just, it's almost a reality, minus the zombies, like, you know, like, running around with head, <coughs> light up headbands, but, um, we have an upside down car that there's a car alarm that goes off and resets, oh and I just happened, and I kept hearing it, and I'm just like... Wow, this would be really funny. And so I walked up, and my manager happened to be like standing there, and he was scaring. And I walked up to it, and I timed it, and I just took out my car keys. So I haven't had my car keys in my pocket still. And I just went like, doop, doop, and I'm like, damn zombies! Like, I'm just like, <laughs> and so I would just, I would just do that, even when the groups are coming down. I'm all sorry, guys, excuse me, and just put it away. So sometimes like. <laughs> There's, it's not all serious, and I'm not all dark all the time. Sometimes, like, you, if you catch the right moment, you will see us do funny stuff. Like, making people laugh in the middle of the zombie apocalypse is actually pretty funny. Um, I.e. Zombieland. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. They literally, like, just to, just saying weird things or saying something funny or anything, just getting them to break a little bit from the, the seriousness of what's actually going on. Is is pretty like makes you feel pretty good. It's pretty funny. Definitely, <laughs> you have to. In fact, if you have to, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this. I mean, this season has been so much fun just for us alone. I mean, I never thought I'd have so much fun in a haunt. I didn't even think I was going to survive a haunt. I, yeah, he did it. He really did it. And he's been doing really good this season. You've like, done very well. Except when uh, you fall asleep. Yeah. And then it's game over. Don't and they've both gotten you. Don't fall asleep in front of us anymore, because we'll find you. I tried really hard. You could ask wow. him. I like wish I had a way to like buzz you guys, because there's been times where it's happened. I'm like, 
the fuck where are they? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just been hilarious. But he he chooses. He, now he chooses. Now like, we went to the Hollows the other day, and he he took like a big ass nap down there while I was filming. Oh, stuff. I was like, I'm safe over here. I don't think, they don't know me. Rising. <laughs> the the, are, the, the Hollows are savages. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> they are savages. Oh, they have no rules. They don't. <laughs> they, they don't. They don't. No rules. They don't. Yeah. The things I've heard them say to people, I'm like, Oh, did you just say that? Did you really just tell me? <laughs> we have to be a little more stoic, I feel like, in our area. And I feel like you guys, like, with your area, there's more character interaction. Which I really, I'm a sucker for. I mean, one of mm. my other favorite events this year was the Haunted Hate Ride, strictly due to the fact of character interaction. I was, like, talking with everybody for, like, 45 minutes. Just to get the story of the freaking uh, Midnight Falls. Yeah, but Midnight Falls that was that was really cool. I really enjoyed the interaction of, of Midnight Falls, um, and going to going to Knotts, um, the interaction is there. I mean, everyone we've talked to, I mean, yeah, they've like you can just you don't even have to talk to them. You can just see the story of them just walking around and just kind of try to piece together a story. I actually have a theory. I have a fun theory about Hostel's character. Yeah, we, we've developed that theory. We've developed a fun theory. Um, that the reason why he's crazy is because everyone around him he knew turned into something that just snapped his lights. Oh, do you know his backstory? I don't know his backstory. Mm-hmm. That's a fan theory. I think okay. just for this year at least, because the whole lore of Sarah Marshall and everything. No, I want to ask him his backstory. <laughs> I think it has we to also have the theory that... Uh, yeah. <laughs> For six weeks, he actually lets his actual personality out. And, uh, you know, he holds that hostile character in for 365 days a year. <laughs> and, then, and then when he when he's at Haunt, that's really what he is. Mer- it's hilarious. I mean, yeah. American Hostel, both. Yeah. Probably holds yeah. something very dark inside and just let it out. <laughs> yeah. I don't Cause... think you've lived until you've been married. Because you, you got it the other day. I understand. <laughs> you got it pretty bad the other day. I've gotten it every day this past week, and it's... He's hilarious. Both it's something. Them, they make me laugh so much. <laughs> there was one time when they were in Kmart, and they were, like, both crouched on the ground. Together. Yeah, he was, like, on with his freaking gas can. Freaking Hostel was, like, like on his knees, just looking everywhere behind him. And I was just like, what? is going on it is just don't oh, try man. to understand it just yeah. enjoy it yeah that's that's, that's what we do because my character whenever they're around i kind of like cover my ears because my character will get possessed by their voices and so she'll go yeah. insane because after the merrick interaction orphan was a different character you even sounded different yeah i sounded my giggle was different it was more like I can't even, I couldn't replicate it, and my scream was more like, it's more deafening than it was already, like angry at everybody. <laughs> Oof. He brought out a demon yeah. woman, and I, I it went was after scary. people for a long time, like completely possessed. Nice. Yeah. I don't know how he does it, I don't know what he says, because when he's saying it, it's really terrifying, you're like, oh my god, please stop, but it's really cool at the same time. <laughs> he always does a shh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm just sitting there laughing. Was it one night we actually saw him and a bunch of other characters get two girls inside that little pin, like that play pin kind the of? Court, they got court. people in it. Yeah, they were stupid enough to go in. I was I like, we were there "Oh my that god. god, that was just that's gold right there, man." And yeah, we, we like by the, open? by the stable. By uh, <laughs> yeah, we, right where, where our bench is at. They, they opened the door and like two girls got They said, get in! And they went in and I was like... Oh my god. It was the guy that... Who's, he has the saw too and he's... Sorry, he just, that name. Don't he say just, that. The doctor. The, the doctor. He just... He, there was he, one night where he was just like... Come here, I want your Achilles heel! I was like, what the fuck? I don't think I heard a lot. Hey, we just had so much fun just looking at everybody and watching what you guys do. Which is why we are doing what we're doing this month. To full on appreciate everything that you guys do day in, day out. It's not it's not an easy job to do because of course you're gonna have violent guests, you're gonna have people drinking, which sometimes most of the time leads to s- stupid violent guests. Um, and then you're gonna have people who just like don't get scared. And 
That's why me and this guy are... Oh, you got 12-year-olds. Oh, you got 12-year-olds. Oh, my God. Don't even get me started with the 12-year-olds. Don't even get me started with the 12-year-olds. Friday night crowd. Friday night's That's the Friday night. That's the Friday-Saturday crowd, man, because I just... We're sitting on the bench, and I just... I get such a headache, just... Yeah, I, was like, I call right. it babysitting night. Yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> what it, that's what he called it one night. He goes, "This is the night where parents just drop off their kids just so they don't have to be with them the entire night." Yeah. And Mom I was and like, "Dad, have a date." Yeah, like, yeah. we're yeah. gonna be back at twelve oh five. Yeah, don't be late. <laughs> Not twelve oh six. Twelve oh five. No, but it's just it's 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 a really it's a really hard job to to keep up with because not only like you said, a lot of these people have full time jobs on top of this, and to come in to do what you do get off at like three or four in the morning and then go home, get up the next day to go to work. Yeah. Then you, like if it's a Thursday, you have to come back that same night on a Friday, probably like half asleep still. Yeah. And <laughs> yep. the blood, sweat and tears that go into this event, whether it's the people who are out on stage just killing it, you know, bringing the, 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 the nightmares to life to the people behind the scenes who are working their ass off to get characters in place, in costume and makeup, you know, making sure the mazes run smoothly, all the audio and visual are, are working. It's it's a whole group effort that when it comes together, it's an amazing event like Not Scary Farm. And that's why we continue to go and support. That's why we continue to cheer everyone on that we know. That's why we continue to do what we do because we appreciate you guys. We are not worthy. We are not worthy. <laughs> In the words of Wayne's World. Um, but yeah, that that's that's it for episode one, man. That went by fast. A lot, a lot, a lot of a lot of fun. Um, you guys want to plug anything in? Social medias. Without guests like you, we wouldn't be out there doing. It. Yeah, oh, that's very true. Yeah, yeah. That's no problem. Like fuels us to do like want to do more. The help. people, the people who love it, yeah, really are oh, yeah. the reason why we do it. The actual like hearing a guest like when they actually get scared and they're like you're awesome, like yeah. you're doing a great job is like what I love to yeah. hear. Inside you're like yes, <laughs> and there or just random guests coming up to you and, and says like you're working really hard. Like are you got two guests that come up to you and just quote lines. <laughs> <laughs> that, that it's like, yes. <laughs> that, happen. yeah. that, was, that happened like too much. She told us that, and I was like, it's game over. It's game over. He goes home, watches Vine constantly. <laughs> <laughs> just starts studying all the vines that he can just yep. possibly Hello. say to. And she would reply to them. That'd be the funny thing to us every night. It's like hearing her response to them, like real silent. And it was just like it was eerie, but it was hilarious. It's hilarious. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's it's been it's been a blast this season. We've met so many people, and so many people have like you know just asked us who we are, and we just told them we're a couple of guys who just want to sit on a bench and watch you guys do what you guys do. At the end of the day, and occasionally scare you if you fall asleep. Yeah. <laughs> one more weekend, buddy. One more weekend. <laughs> the amount of monsters I've tried to drink to stay awake. It's true. He drinks like a monster, and then I'll have like a coke, and then. Take a lap. We went off of bang. Yeah. Field off bang. Yeah. A lot of bang. <laughs> Go to the bathroom. I have no problem staying. Walks like, back. I really don't. I think because I'm just a night owl in general. I can pull an all-nighter and then wake up for work and I'll be tired throughout the day, but, you know, it is what it is. You guys sit in a very entertaining spot, too. We were, we actually moved to that mid, mid, yeah. uh... Because you were hanging out in Fog Alley for a while. Yeah, right? we were, we had a good bench there and then we're like, let's, let's, let's move around and see what there is. Now we hop everywhere. I mean, Kmart's our spot, but we hop everywhere. I mean, we'll go to the what do we what do we 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 call the candy area, Candyland. <laughs> Candyland. That's that's we got our own little nicknames for everything. Um, so we go we go there every now and then, and then we'll go to Birdcage and chill for there. Yeah, that's usually like where we close the night. That's Birdcage. where we close the night because that's where everyone usually like ends up, and that's where like that's where we've seen a lot of like the best slides. There's one guy that literally will jump in the air and slide, and I'm like, this guy, this guy's Batman, dude. Okay. Batman. Yeah. He has the longest slides I've ever seen in my life. I'm like, yeah. you're all the way, all the way to the the school. Yeah, he goes from straight yeah. the backstage area all the way to the school. I'm just like, oh my god. The school. Yeah. 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 Window. Window. And the prisoner can screech. Yeah. The prisoner can get some good stuff in there too. But there's just been so many moments um, that we've seen. We've seen so many people get floored this season, which is hilarious. Always My hilarious. favorites. Yeah. If anyone's more scared than me, I yeah. enjoy them. That was that was hilarious. We've had some great character interactions with you guys. 
I've seen Bree almost every time I've gone into special ops, mm -hmm. and she kills it every time. So uh, literally, literally, with nothing literally, literally. literally. <laughs> kills things. <laughs> even if even, even if one of those days, yes, you know, she breaks something, you know. But you know, it it has happened. It, it had happened, and things <laughs> happened. But I'm I'm glad you didn't get in trouble for it. That's no. that's all that matters. Okay. Um, but yeah, man, this is only the beginning. Only the beginning of Character Appreciation Month. I don't know how many more we have to go. A lot. You guys have you a, guys lot. Have a lot. <laughs> I know. I was looking at your Instagram yesterday and I'm like, oh, holy yeah, crap. That was so good. It started with, let's just ask Fresh Compass, let's ask, let's ask Ruth, and let's ask Alicia. And then it just went like, everyone we saw were like, here's our card, contact us, we want you on our podcast here, come on. Oh, dude, and like, we probably have a good 15 to 20 characters going to be on the show. Pretty pretty too. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, got, awesome. we got one, we got a Reggie from Alley Haunted Hayride, <clears throat> but everyone else, most of the majority is not. And we tried to reach out to Queen Mary and no one replied, so I was like, all right, well, that means one not people for us. It's going to be odd. We got but, one person from Queen. But, uh, yeah, we, we've, we've just been, we've been taking it slow now. Now it's just like, I want to enjoy hot season. There was like every week I was bringing my camera. And I'm like, all right, this is no more. Yeah, I'm tired of this. It's it's fun to enjoy it. It without is without a viewfinder in your face. I think we really there was like the two weekends in a row. These last two weekends where I just I didn't bring a camera, and then I think like this weekend I'm gonna bring a camera only because one it's gonna be closing weekend. Two, I want to get as much uh, stock footage as I can of everybody. That way I can put them in the podcast so they can see who you guys are. Um, but shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> But now we've just had an amazing time, and you'll we, be there Halloween, right? We will be there Halloween. Good. <laughs> yeah. That was the one thing we weren't missing was Halloween. It was either there or Horror Nights, and I don't want to go to Horror Nights. So yeah, and it's now. a Thursday. And it's a Thursday, yeah. But that's uh, a bad for you. Yeah, it's been fun. It should be fun. All hell breaks loose tour 2019. It's pretty much done. One week left. One week left. One week left. We can already announce what our next our next year's tour name is going to be. Evil's my friend. 2020 nice. cross season tour. Hell yeah. Yeah, rancid. I'm looking at you, Tim Armstrong. Um, <laughs> Hello? Hello? Tim, are you there? Are you there? <laughs> um, but Hello? <laughs> thank you guys so much for kicking it off. Uh, it's Garrett Appreciation Month. Absolutely. We appreciate you. Thank you. We appreciate you. We loved everything you guys gave us this season, and we cannot wait for 2020. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Get ready. better. Even better. And then, We'll see what her mystery role is this next season. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Just zoom in. See oh. <laughs> <laughs> to right. be continued. Meme. Yeah, no. <laughs> to be continued meme. Oh, dude, I've thought about doing so many of those for a lot of the characters. Yeah, All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, supporting the channel. Support Fractured Compass Productions. Follow them on their Instagrams. Patreon. Uh, <laughs> Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. So. There you go. Uh, oh my oh god. Oh god, oh, no. She's trying. <laughs> um, I'm safe. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this Character Appreciation Month. we got so much great guests coming on the show in the next couple of weeks, and so stay tuned, and yeah. Deuces. Ah. <laughs>